Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSIR has finally announced their cutoff and result for December 2023 exam. This is CSIR HRDG website. So the results are uploaded over here uh, and not on the NTA website. So I will give you a link to reach out to this particular page in the description of, of this video so, the, so that you can directly come up to this particular page. Now, if you scroll down a little bit to this particular website, you will reach out to this announcement and news section. Okay. And here you will find two links. The first one is joint CSIR UGC net result December 2023. And the other one is cut off December 2023. So in the link of uh, result 2023 or result December 2023, you are going to get a PDF which will contain the list of all the students who have qualified and uh, with the rank okay and the other one is cut off so uh, where you are going to get how much cut off went for this particular year so i'll go to each link one by one and show you how uh, you can you can access and what is the cut off for this okay so first let's go to the cut off december 2023 link and by the way congratulations to each and every one of you who have qualified for this exam and do let me know how much uh, rank you got in the comment section below and let me just show you the cut off for december 2023 so here's the cutoff for CSIR December 2023 exam. You can see the first one is for chemical sciences. And if I highlight this up a little bit, so you will be able to see that uh, for unreserved category, the cutoff went 59%. Uh, for EWS, it is 51.50. So basically, this is in percentage. Okay, this is not marks. Since the exam is of 200 marks, so you have to multiply this percentage or this uh, percent with two okay so if the cutoff went 59 percent that means it went 118 marks if you multiply it with two which is quite high actually for aws it is 51.50 that means 103 marks for obc it is 51 percent that means 102 marks and similarly like you can just multiply with two to get the cutoff marks for each subject uh, for net ls if you see for unreserved category the cutoff is 53.10 which is 106.20 for EWS it is 46.435 uh, which is uh, roughly around which is 92.70 and so on okay you can just check out uh, just multiply it with two so don't get confused and think that uh, 59 marks is the cutoff no it's the twice of that okay so the cutoff this time actually went a little high uh, we all were not expecting it this high okay but yeah it went this much so like that's what we have why it uh, why the cutoff went this high and what could be the reason that we are gonna discuss in another video and that video i'm gonna make soon so that we can have a good idea about the upcoming net exam okay the one which is going to happen the next time but this time of course the cutoff went high 118 marks i think in the past few years uh, the cutoff didn't never went more than 117 marks this is the first time it went around 118 marks okay do let me know if i'm wrong okay and uh, yeah what do you guys think about this what do you guys uh, think about this high cutoff okay do let me know in the comment section below fine so this is the cutoff which we have now talking about the result okay so let's see the result how it looks and what exactly it is so if you see this is joint CSIR UGC net uh, result for December 2023 here you will find three sections the first one is JRF net CSIR so there are 1423 candidates who have actually got a JRF under CSIR so they will be called as CSIR JRF okay I think you are already aware about this JRF is awarded to uh, students from two organizations CSIR and UGC both because CSIR and UGC jointly conducts this exam so 1424 candidates appeared for this particular uh, sorry uh, qualified for CSIR JRF all you have to do is search your roll number and you will get your rank okay so do let me know what rank you have got and then moving to the next uh, section which is JRF UGC net so these are the candidates who have qualified JRF under UGC okay so that's the second uh, list or the second section of the result and if you scroll down a little bit more so you will find out a list where it says lecturership assistant professor net so these are the candidates who have qualified for net ls 
okay so that's your overall result and you can check out your own and see how much rank you have got and i think there will be one more uh, section of the result. last section of the result is for those uh, who have whose roll number are listed below they have qualified the eligibility test for lecturership subject to their fulfilling the eligibility criteria of ugc of having msc or equivalent so this is for those who have uh, like who are appearing uh, like masters uh, appearing in masters or those who have been in bachelors itself and uh, just you know have given this exam so they have qualified this there are to total 30 candidates like this so once they will qualify masters then this net is going to be awarded to them so this is for those uh, candidates the last section the last 30 students are those who have uh, qualified net even they they are not enrolled in masters so because csr has made this eligibility that even if you are in bachelor's third year or if you have passed bachelor's in that case also you can you know, give net exam and you can qualify net exam so these are those candidates so kudos to everyone who have qualified congratulations once again once, once again for qualifying this exam and uh, uh, do let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it all the best from my side and i will see you in the next one with a detailed video about the result till then have a great day bye bye take care